Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day 59 of the Daily Y series. Today we're going to be creating a real quick background pattern and I'm going to be using the repeat grid to actually do this. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my artboard and I'm going to adjust the colors on this to a gradient. So I'm going to quickly grab some colors and just start pasting those in. So we have a nice green. We'll add that to our swatches and then I'm going to grab a kind of volty yellow color and we'll select this darker circle and paste that one in and I'll also add that to my swatches all right so once we have that I'm gonna adjust this how I want so I'm actually gonna put the green down here with the yellow kind of fading in in the corner and I don't want the green to be too dominant uh, but I want a good mixture so around there we'll do pretty good and I'm gonna do a bunch of squares for my background pattern. So I'm gonna drag out a square here in the corner. I'm gonna make this 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And we'll go with a border of white. And I'm gonna bump the radius up to four on that. And I'm gonna copy and paste that and then just shrink it down a bit. Copy and paste it again. And I'm gonna keep doing this just over and over until I get something that looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can take this and put it up here. One over here. Okay. So I think that looks pretty cool. Another thing we could do is just start adding some lines in for a little bit more detail. So I'll drag a line here apply a border of four to that, and then we'll change that to white as well. So we have something pretty cool like that. Uh, we could go even further, but I think I'm gonna stop there for now. So I'm gonna group all those lines together, select my repeat grid, so we can drag that full height and width of the artboard. Then I'm going to lower the opacity on this a bit. So let's just play around with that. So one thing I am going to do is I am going to create a, a phone background with this pattern as well. So I'm just going to call this a one. I'm going to press A and then click iPhone 10 and I'm going to call this 02. I'm going to hold Alt and just drag this entire repeat grid over here. And then I'm going to bring it full opacity and ungroup the grid. And I'm going to delete all of these squares except the original. And we're going to edit this one to be smaller for the phone screen. Alright, so now that I have that, I'm just going to hold shift and drag this down till I get about 75 pixels and then just make sure it's grouped. For this phone background, we're just going to apply the same gradient we did over here. Go into my gradient settings so I can adjust this. Put the yellow in the corner and the green down here. And then we'll just work on the fade. That looks pretty good. And I'm now just going to drag in this square, select repeat grid, and then just drag out both directions. And instead of 20 spacing, we're going to lower it down to 10 this time. Maybe a little further. Let's go with 8. And then I'm just going to fill the screen with this repeat grid. Just like that. And then lower this down to 25% opacity. So we have something very similar to this over here. 
All right, so I just real quickly created a few more gradients in the background just to see how it would look. I personally like this uh, reddish purple. I'm not a big fan of kind of the Bora Bora gradient that I used here. And uh, this is really light on this, but it actually came out really well on the foam mock-up. So I'm going to drag a mock-up using these in. It's just uh, two iPhone 10s with this set as their lock screen. So we're going to scale this down and we'll center it up. And with that, that's gonna do it for today's video. Real quick background pattern created in Adobe Experience Design using the Repeat Grid tool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more UI related content like these daily UIs. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.